how to eat the rainbow in order to get all of the nutrients you need from food. Using the eating the rainbow strategy can be a very easy and fun way to get in all of the nutrients that you need from different kinds of foods because a lot of the beneficial properties that you can find in food are regrouped according to their color. This is especially true for fruit and vegetables where each color represents a specific set of phytochemicals and antioxidants or just nutrients in general. And obviously there are exceptions. There are foods that are the same color and have like different benefits and foods that are different colors and have the same benefits but I still think that using this strategy can be a pretty good guide. So starting out with red fruit and veggies like tomatoes, bell peppers, grapefruit, watermelon, red cabbage, cherries, pomegranates. They contain lycopene, which is an antioxidant as well as folates and vitamin C. So they have antioxidant properties as well as anti-inflammatory properties and they may help promote heart health as well as help prevent certain cancers. Up next, we have orange foods like carrots, sweet potatoes, pumpkin, squash, oranges, mangoes, cantaloupe. They contain carotenoids that then turn into vitamin A, as well as vitamin C and fiber. Foods are anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, and they support eye health and skin health. Then we have yellow fruit and veggies like bananas, yellow bell peppers, potatoes, pineapple, citrus fruit. They contain a ton of vitamin C and they also contain fiber. So they are antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and they help support a healthy immune system. We then have green fruit and vegetables such as kale, cabbage, spinach, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, avocado, asparagus, zucchini, they contain fiber, folates, and vitamin K. And then if you look specifically at leafy green vegetables, so like spinach, kale, things like that, they also contain iron and carotenoids. Carotenoids is the same thing that you find in the orange foods and that can be helpful for your skin and your eye health. And then if you look at the cruciferous veggies, so broccoli, cabbage, Brussels sprouts, all of these things, they contain glucosinolates, which are an anti-cancer compound. So aside from these specific things, all of these green foods have antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. So blue slash purple foods, I'm grouping them together because it's really hard to tell the difference between them color-wise. They include blueberries, blackberries, grapes, eggplants, plums. They contain fiber as well as anthocyanins, which is an antioxidant. So all of these purple blue foods are very, very high in antioxidants and so they also have anti-inflammatory properties as well as they may help improve heart health and brain health. And finally, we have white foods like cauliflower, onions, garlic, mushrooms, leeks. Now, I know that white foods get like bad press for some reason, but they actually contain decent amounts of fiber and antioxidants, like certain antioxidants. And they're also pretty anti-inflammatory and may help lower your risk for certain cancers. So now that you have all the different colors and their benefits, here's how you can apply that to your plate. So make sure that you're getting at least two different colors for fruit or veggies in each meal and bonus points if all the colors are different throughout the day and then when you're looking at two days in a row it's ideal to get different colored foods from the same color category if that makes sense but don't worry i'm going to give you an example to make it more clear so for these examples i'm only going to be focusing on the fruit or veggies like you still need to be adding carbs or protein and i'm going to give you examples on how to do that later on so for day one let's say that you have a banana for breakfast and then you have a leafy green salad with tomatoes for lunch, as well as sweet potatoes and blueberries for dinner. And so day two, you can have a grapefruit for breakfast, yellow and red bell peppers for lunch, and then broccoli with like onions and garlic and a mango for dinner. You can see that each meal contains at least two different colors in terms of fruit and veggies. And then if you look at the two consecutive days, they contain different colors and like different foods with, within the same color category that you had like the previous day. For instance, the banana on day one versus the yellow bell peppers on day two, or the leafy greens on day one versus the broccoli on day two, the sweet potatoes on day one versus the grapefruit on day two, etc. Like you can do so many different combinations. Since the appearance of our food and our meal is very important for general satisfaction, 
and since having a very colorful plate can help boost your appetite and just increase the overall pleasure that you have while eating your meal then it can be a good idea to try to use the color techniques in like other foods like protein and carbs for instance and make them have like different colors from the veggies and fruits that you are already incorporating so your plate is as colorful as possible for instance if you're having like red lentils which are orange try pairing them with foods that are orange like that are green or if you're having pasta try not to include white vegetables along with that instead have like a blue vegetable or like blue fruit for dessert or something then if you're having eggs try not to have yellow fruit and veggies with that try to have red or orange so for instance if we look at the veggies that we used in the previous example for day one for breakfast you could have some oatmeal with some peanut butter and a banana for lunch you could have a spinach and tomato salad with some red lentils and some brown rice and then for dinner you could have sweet potatoes with like a greek yogurt filling and chickpeas and then have blueberries for dinner dessert and then for day two breakfast could be some whole wheat toast with some eggs and a grapefruit for lunch you could have a tortilla wrap in which you put some black beans and some bell peppers like red and yellow bell peppers and then dinner could be broccoli with garlic and onion as well as some quinoa some tofu and a mango for dessert and now just some more tips that can maybe help you out so if you're unable to get in enough colors for one meal that's totally fine you can just compensate for the meal after so let's say that you're having a burger and fries for lunch then for dinner it can be a good idea to make yourself a poke bowl where you can put a bunch of different fruit and veggies and get like a bunch of different colors without even trying that hard or if you know that you're going to a restaurant and that you're probably going to be having chicken pizza for dinner then you can totally make sure that you get in a colorful smoothie for breakfast just add in a bunch of different colors like a bunch of different foods from different color groups and you are good to go for the day Another tip that I like to use is to look at toppings as well because you can totally add in a color boost with just a little topping. You can do that really easily. For instance, you can add some tomatoes or tomato sauce to your pasta or you can add some guacamole, like have a guacamole dip with your food. Maybe you can add a few veggies on your pizza or you can add like some berries to your oatmeal or granola. So that's it for this video. Hopefully it helped you see how using the eat the rainbow method can really be a fun way to make sure that your meals are filled with nutrients and remember that it may be a little difficult to get in all those colors at first but as time goes on you will definitely get used to it and you will definitely be able to improve your meal quality and the satisfaction that you have from eating your pretty colorful meals so don't forget to like this video and subscribe and see you on my next one bye